Yes, sir. Are you testing this on a quote-unquote healthy body? Yeah, I'm perfectly healthy now, and I've been using this thing two hours a day. Started out with a healthy body. Well, I was bald and I was fat, but I was healthy. I'm not bald and I'm not fat, and man, is my libido off the scale. I'm in my 70s, but I can lick any guy in the bar now. I think I can. That's paranoia. But anyway, uh, it works. There are no side effects. The only side effects are like this lady brought up, detoxification and electroporation, and all of that is explained in your paper. And just get rid of garlic in your diet. Yes, sir. The maximum current you can get through there without heating it up is just one or two joules. <clears throat> like the repeating strobes in psychedelic night pumps, flash, 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 flash. If you measure those, they're less than one joule, one watt second. You need a minimum of 17 and a half and an optimum of 35 joules to cure anything because that determines the amount of back EMF. The answer is no, you cannot use AC. But if you want to spend $7,000 for a magnetotron, which is made in Germany, or $5,000 for a centurion, which is made in Canada, and this is all on, in your paper on page six, you can get a unit that is about one one hundredth the power of one that you can build for about $25, and that's the truth. Uh, yes, sir. Do you think these studies you were just talking about will be published in the mainstream medical? The only reason I've cooperated with three hospitals in my area and a clinic and an institution is I want the data. A lot of doctors demand proof, and so do I. Until I saw hundreds of these studies, I couldn't believe it was that effective. I thought if this thing is 50% effective, it's 49% better than anything on the market. This is a miracle. And the first negative report we got last year, in August, the lab wouldn't return it to us because they knew there wasn't a cure for HIV. And we're fighting that much prejudice in the community, etc. And dozens of people have come forward. Mark has heard one or two at my presentation at the Whole Life Expo in Los Angeles, Hilton Hotel. And they come out of the woodwork. They say, I was dying. And look at me now, I'm back at work. And this is true. People say, well, why hasn't someone come forward with this? We have dozens of people who said, you may use my name. The reason I showed the gentleman this paper is that Michael gave me permission to use his paper. He was one of the only people on the study that hasn't gone back to the bathhouses, hasn't gone back to Haiti or Brazil and playing with the young boys. If they knew that if we cure them once, we can cure them again. So they're out there with the identical lifestyles before this plague came down on us. Now, a funny thing happened on the way to the forum, and that is that a number of these people had reduced HIV, but it did not go to zero. We had 3,600,000, etc. They now have several thousand, but they have absolutely no symptoms. So maybe Peter Duisberg is right. The AIDS is only a secondary or tertiary effect of HIV, and it's the lifestyle, the poppers, the dope, the drugs, uh, hundreds of reasons, the 29 opportunistic diseases that are defined arbitrarily as being full-blown AIDS. If you have Carposis sarcoma, if you have pneumonia, if you have brain damage, yama, yama, yama. And uh, hey, we've got to wind this up pretty soon. I think there were some other questions back. Let's open it to questions now. Uh, yes, sir. I've got Borrello-Borgarki Lyme disease, and I've heard a lot of uh, silver foil treatments talk about 650 diseases that will cure. I see that in every... Uh, You're talking about Dr. Mason who's sell, selling silver protein, which is toxic. He won't look me in the eye. You make silver colloid, not silver nitrate, silver chloride, ad infinitum, and you will cure Lyme's disease, or I'll give you triple your money back. So you need the silver colloid and you need the blood cleaner for about five months and yes it will work I'll put my reputation on the line and my reputation is sacred to me uh, yes ma'am can someone with a copper based IUD use the blood purification thousands and thousands of people have used it and I don't have a specific answer 
to your question. I wish I knew. And if you find out, let me know. Thank you. Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, you said that the blood theory device will cure Ebola. We haven't tested it on it, but Ebola is a virus, um, and this gets rid of so all viruses. Is it um, usually the incubation period of Ebola in the patient about two weeks? It's um, sometimes considered shorter than that. A uh, Christian fundamentalist missionary came to me, and I outfitted him with some rechargeable nickel cadmium and lithium batteries that he could recharge with a, a silicon solar cell, a panel, and by normal sunlight, because he was going into the bush, and by God, he was going to find Ebola, get it certified, and send me a copy of the cure. And that was over a year ago. I never heard from him. He took my gift of the solar charging panel, the batteries, which cost me $8 each, and the blood cleaner, and vanished. And I think I was conned. <laughs> but anyway, it is being tested, and until we have the absolute proof of before and after tests, I don't even want to bring it up. But I'm personally convinced that Ebola, since... Well, some people think that that was man-made, but it may have been around for a long time before the Iranians built that plant down in Florida and worked with their own CIA and made the weapons that were tested in the Gulf War. But that's another long story. Yes? So explain why garlic is a toxic? It's the analog of sulfone, S-U-L-F-O-N-E, hydroxyl, H-Y-D-R-O-X-Y-L. If you rub a clove of garlic on the sole of your foot, on the outside of the body, you can smell it on your wrist in a couple of minutes, you know that. The garlic passes all of the barriers in the body, the blood-brain barrier, and anything that is in your body at that time is carried into your brain, <coughs> which is why garlic kills so many brain cells, much more than the famous six martinis back in the 40s. They said you drink six martinis, you've killed a million brain cells. But you have so many billions and trillions that you'll never miss them. And the people have been worked on who are hydrocephalies, who have a brain about the size of a walnut. Uh, do you have an answer to that? No, I have. Oh, I'll get to you in just a minute. When we got doctors to take people off of what they thought was a health food, like the mothers thought morphine sulfate was good for the babies because they never cried, these people got well from low-grade attention span, deficit, headaches. They came back and they practically kissed the hands of Andreas Marx and a dozen other doctors in the Santa Monica area that listened to my lecture. <coughs> they looked on Lowry's table salt. Well, I'll never use this again. It's got garlic salt. And I'm never going to use these canned foods because they have garlic in them, and they're just better. And you're not going to believe this. It's an article of faith that garlic will lower blood pressure kill worms. Sure, it kills anything. If you try it for 21 days and then eat some garlic again with a salad dressing that you bought in the store, you will feel so sick the next day that you will never doubt this as long as you live. And this is true. It's not my opinion, and I hate to bring it to you. I'm going to tell you a lot of things tonight that are true. You don't want to hear that the mafia owns controlling the charities of most pharmaceutical houses. People are horrified. Yes. Um, you mentioned about like using um, the silver um, you know, and you water your vegetation and everything. Um, the like around the Caribbean, all the palm trees are dying and stuff. And I've been there when when they were all alive and it was all beautiful. And then I've been there. Um, They're dying in the <coughs> San Clemente. They're dying all over California. And if the people would get one of these pop-up sprayers and take a ladder or a cherry picker, <coughs> spray the foliage, spray the trunk, spray around the roofs, those palm trees will live. The proof of the pudding is in the testing. They're not going to do this. They're going to get tree doctors, spend a lot of money, try all kinds of chemicals. They don't want a tenth of a penny solution. They're looking for something exotic. If it costs a tenth of a penny a gallon, it must not be any good. And you're just up against that. And when you're perfect... Come around. <laughs> uh, question, Eric? Yeah, uh, two, two full questions, two parts to it. Um, I mentioned to you when I came to the table that I felt a lot of this, it, it's energy worth what you're doing, essentially. 